what's up guys welcome back to my channel so oh, sorry guys I am just really congested not feeling great so excuse me um Carly Russell has officially been charged with making false statements in regards to her disappearance I will leave the link to the article down below hopefully I don't need to take it out but I am getting this off of ABC News I believe there is a little little short video on the site so um, you guys can go and check that out um, but we're gonna go ahead and get into this article this is gonna be interesting so says here let's see how long this is it's pretty long so let's go ahead and get on with it Carly Russell the Alabama woman who told police she was kidnapped after she went missing for two days was arrested on Friday so she was arrested today and charged with two misdemeanors for making false statements to police Hoover Police Department Chief Nicholas Durzis announced during a press conference on Friday so that press conference was being held today um, and he told everyone that she was I'm not gonna play the video but I the video is playing on the site and again it's on ABC News it says here quote the story open wounds for families whose loved ones really were victims of kidnappings and that's what I was saying like I do not appreciate this girl doing this for what when there are tons of families out there who have children missing even grown people missing especially young women and children um, who still haven't been found you're going around doing this as a hoax my ultimate question is still why let's carry on he added that he shared in the frustration that Russell was only charged with misdemeanors and said that he is calling on state legislators to add an enhancement to the law when somebody falsely reports kidnapping or another violent crime I can agree with that the fact that she's only getting a misdemeanor charge um I don't I don't I don't think that's okay I don't think that's okay especially when you had the intent to rob <laughs> you you had intent to steal you had intent to kidnap unless you were looking to find out if you were old enough to be considered an amber alert um you wasted tons of federal money with all of these um, you know, people out here looking for you, all the people who, you know, donated and whatever the case may be. Like, this was a lot of moving parts that was happening. It wasn't just you telling people you were kidnapped and that was it. Like, a lot went on to try to find this girl after she disappeared. Um, so I don't think the misdemeanors is enough, but, uh, let's continue on. Existing laws only allow the charges that were filed to be filed, he said. Russell was charged with one count of false reporting to law enforcement authorities and one count of falsely reporting an incident, Derzis said. Each charge is a misdemeanor with a $1,000 bond and each is punishable with up to one year in prison and a potential $6,000 fine if she is convicted, which she should be, he added. Uh, Russell was released after posting uh, $2,000 bonds, according to Durzis. ABC News has reached out to Russell's attorney, Emory Anthony, and the Russell family for comment. Durzis said that police asked Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall's office to adapt, adopt this case because of the tension it has garnered, and the AG office agreed to take it on. Marshall joined Durzis at the press conference on Friday and said that his office intends to fully prosecute this case so we'll see she may get more time we shall see if both counts hold up to a year uh, that's two years in prison but then again you've got the whole okay this is what you're sentenced with but you get early release if like no i feel like more needs to be done but if she is being sentenced to two years she needs to serve those two years entirely and that's for anybody who pulls this type of stunt you know not just her anyone like I feel like you know this type of crime is not looked at really as a crime oh it was a hoax oh 
I don't want to hear the whole mental health thing. I mean, if she has mental health issues, go get help. But at the end of the day, this was premeditated. There was research that was done on her behalf to see if she can actually pull this off. You get what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion. You guys agree to disagree, but that's just me. Um, it says, uh, we don't see this as a victimless crime, Marshall said. There is significant hours spent, resources expended as a result of this investigation. And not only that, but the many men and women who are civilians who wore those yellow vests on a hot afternoon and evening looking for someone they thought was abducted trying to be of assistance. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't only have people out here. You've got, you know, the, the government of federal people looking for you spending thousands of dollars. But then you've got regular people out here you know looking for you people who don't even know you taking time out of their day to go look for a person who disappeared who actually didn't you know um and who knows if these people took time off of work i mean it's a lot can go into this you know uh, marshall added that his office will continue to monitor this investigation to determine whether or not there are any additional charges that need to be brought I think they need to look into the fact that she was looking to, she, like, let me not, it says, when asked by a reporter about concern in the community over other missing black and brown women, both Durses and Marshall dismissed concerns that Russell's case could lead law enforcement not to seriously investigate other cases. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping that's not the case. I feel like there's a little bit of you know issues when it comes to us brown and black people when it comes to missing people but you know i guess i don't know if it depends state by state or what but i'm glad that they're saying this and i hope that they own up to it you know um they said here we work every case like all other law enforcement does so i don't have any concern anywhere that they would be an issue Marshall said that he wanted to echo Durza's sentiment, saying, I expect regardless of your gender, your race, what that when that report is filed, the Alabama law enforcement is going to do its job. And that's what I was saying. Like, we reacted the way we were supposed to as humans. You know, there is a missing girl. There was a toddler out there. We need to figure out where this toddler is, where this woman is, whether she got abducted, you know, reposting this all over the place. I mean, this went viral. Everybody was reposting, sending prayers, the donations, whatever the case may be. We're not wrong. We shouldn't feel bad about what we did because we did the right thing. As a human, if you have a heart and you put yourself in a position of this was my daughter, like, or my child in general, you would have want someone to do the same thing that we all did. So we all did what was right. She's the one that was in the wrong. Let's continue on. It says here, Lane Tolbert, Chief Assistant District Attorney at the Jefferson County District Attorney's uh, Bessemer Division uh, Office, told ABC News on Thursday that prosecutors advised police on what we think the charges should be, but said that charges would be filed by the Circuit Clerk of Jefferson County uh, Bessemer Division's Office. Durza said that the case was referred, <coughs> excuse me, the case was referred back to the municipal court because the charges were only misdemeanors. Russell's arrest comes after prosecutors confirmed to ABC News on Thursday, excuse me, y'all, I am super congested, that they discussed potential charges uh, against Russell with the Hoover Police Department after the 25-year-old admitted through a statement from her attorney on Monday that she made the whole thing up. Excuse me. I am a mess today, y'all. Uh, oh. So anyway, I have a problem with that too because they were asking the girl to come in for another interview with the police. Instead of her going in there in person, they just gave him a statement. See, now right there to me, she's not holding herself accountable a state to me holding yourself accountable go down to that police department do this interview face the public the public is who you need to apologize as well not only that but the families of those who you affected your friends your own family 
um, you know, you these are the consequences for doing something stupid. You can't hide behind a door or a wall and have your legal team doing all of this. Like, I feel like instead of the statement, she should have stood there. She should have spoken to the public. I mean, to be, in my opinion, something like this, you need to hold them accountable for, you know, what they do. And I feel like just, she admitted it through a statement. I would have rather seen her in person, in a press conference or whatever the case may be, admit that she was in the wrong. Like if I was her parents or her legal team, I would have been like, you know, the right thing to do would be to talk to the people yourself and apologize in person, but that didn't happen. So, um, yeah, so, so uh, Thursday they discussed potential charges. Um, where was I? Yeah, so they admitted through a statement from her attorney on Monday that she made the whole thing up. There's this told reporters during a press conference on Monday that Russell's disappearance was a hoax and read a statement provided to police by Russell's attorney, Emery Anthony, acknowledging that there was no kidnapping. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on her behalf. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 13, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person my client did not have any help in this incident this was a single act done by herself the statement as read by Durs's, uh oh that's what the statement read um we ask for your prayers for carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward understanding that she made a mistake in this matter carly again asks for your forgiveness and prayers the statement continued Listen, only thing I'm going to pray for is that this girl learns her lesson. There's a lot of people out there who say, I want my prayers back. I want, she had prayers and now she wants them to get out of it. There's a lot of people who feel, um, feel some type of way about the situation. I personally don't blame them. I don't blame them. I can't, I'm not going to sit here and trash this girl because I feel like she has dug herself an extremely deep hole on on her own and the backlash that she's getting the field day that everyone is having with this is more than enough <laughs> instead of me sitting here trashing this girl but i do hope that they hold her accountable um you know um there is a picture of her mugshot uh this is her mugshot i don't understand why she's smiling It could be nerves. It could be anxiousness. I don't know. Some people are like that. I don't know. Um, the article goes on to say, before her disappearance, Russell called 911 on July 12th, around 9.30, and reported a toddler on the interstate 459 in Alabama. But Hoover Police Department said in a press release last week that investigators have not found any evidence of a child walking on the side of the road. Um, and that's what they were saying. They didn't get any calls of any missing children or anything like that. According to Durses, Russell also told police she was returned home on July 15th, that she was taken by a male and a female when she stopped to check on the toddler that she reported on the highway. Um, Hoover police met with Anthony earlier this week to discuss the case. Durses said during a press conference on July 19th that Russell searched for Amber Alerts and the movie taken on her phone before her disappearance. When is that going to take place? Because she researched amber alert information from what i understand she looked up how old are you still considered an amber alert or how old what is the age limit on an amber alert um how to take money out of a register without getting caught the movie taken it was just a whole mess um it says here russell also made searches related to bus tickets in the hours before she went missing uh, taken the 2008 movie starring Liam Neeson centers around a young woman who was abducted and the quest to save her from her kidnappers. Um, he says here there were other searches on Carly's phone that appeared to shed some light on her mindset. There's this added he would not share them out of privacy. So there's clearly more to this story. Um, again, whether she was, it, it says shedding light on her mindset um who knows i'm sorry you guys i'm just a mess right now but 
like I said, if she's got some mental health issues, if there are problems at home, because I've heard the way that her parents, I've heard the way that her parents are responding to this whole situation, and her parents are really like riding for her, like she was fighting for her life, and it's just like, how do you know that she was fighting for her life? Are you just assuming that because she's been gone for two days? Or is that what she told you? And is that what you really believe? So now that she has admitted that this really didn't happen, I want to hear what the parents have to say. Are they going to hold her daughter, uh, their daughter accountable for the wrong that she has done? You know, I'm the type of parent, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I'm not a parent yet, but I'm right now I will say I am not the type of person friend sister cousin whoever that's gonna side with you just because I'm on your side like no I if you are wrong you're wrong if you're right you're right you know and so I'm hoping that they do hold her accountable I'm sure that they don't want her going through this they don't want to to be in this position nobody wants to be in the position hell we as a public don't want to be in this position. We don't want to feel bad because now, you know, this might alter the way that people think when they see and hear about young, young people, young folks, women and children going missing. And now it's going to be like, okay, is this a hoax? I don't want to share this because I don't want this to happen again. I don't want to waste my time. People are probably gonna be like, yo, I'm not doing this again. You can't do this to people. Like, you not only affected your family, you affected people you don't even know. Now, not only that, you have also affected people who are actually going through this. People who have children that's been missing for years, who still are holding on to hope that they're going to come back home. People who don't have answers. And, you know, something like this is really touchy to families like that. And so, you know, I, I feel like she should definitely be held accountable and they should definitely charge her to the full extent as much as they can. Again, they are only charging her with two counts of misdemeanors, um, which each hold a year in prison, which means it may be less. But I don't know. There it is, y'all. Leave your comments down below. Give me your thoughts. Do you think that she is being charged fairly? Do you think she should get more time? Do you think that she should go to jail? Um, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think... Um, about the way that everyone is responding um, and if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel hit like share and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed I'll see you guys later toodles